rubber is a polymer which is formed by a monomer unit called as isoprene okay let's see the structure of isoprene it is ch2 double bond c h so this is the structure of isoprene and uh, if i'll write its iupac name it is 2 methyl buta 1 comma 3 dye okay it undergoes polymerization process and it results in a formation of a rubber okay uh, we'll see the reaction also how the the reaction proceed actually so let's see so here we'll write uh, ch2 level bond ch and this will undergo polymerization So what happens the bond gets shifted here and this one gets shifted to another unit and we'll be having basically this structure it is CH2 CH So these are the repeating units okay so this is nothing but the poly isoprene now you can see uh, across the double bond two similar groups are present and other two groups are different this i will watch on this across this double bond we are having two similar group at the same time two different groups the different groups are methyl and H. So we'll be having a geometrical isomer in this case. A geometrical isomer. Okay. So this is polyisoprene. This is isomer. Is a natural rubber. Cis isomer of polyisoprene is a natural rubber, whereas the trans isomer, the trans isomer is synthetic. That is man made. Okay, let's have a structure of uh, the cis and trans isomer. So you can see the CH2 unit is keep on coming on the same side. These are the repetitive unit. Okay. So you can see CH2 units are on same side of the chain. So such isomers are called as cis isomer. Or you can also call it as cis poly iso green which is nothing but the natural rubber natural rubber is having such 5000 unit of 
of isoprene. So let's see the structure of uh, trans isomer. Okay, in trans isomer, we'll find this H two units are in opposite place. So this is CH two C. This is CH two. So you can see the CH2 unit as in opposite direction. You can see this is the CH2 here, where CH2, CH2. So we can see they are at transposition. They are at transposition, and this isomer is called as trans polyisoprene. Poly isoprene, which is nothing but the synthetic rubber. It is called as synthetic rubber. Synthetic rubber. In India, it is also called as gatta pacha. The word gatta is derived from geta, which means gum. And the charm is three. Okay, so this is all about the cis and trans isomer. Now there are many disadvantages. Of natural rubber. Natural rubber. Because it is sticky. and uh, it reacts with oxidizing agent and organic solvents okay so its property can be enhanced by vulcanization which we'll see in another video compared to natural rubber the synthetic one is having more strength more strength, less sticky, and it's generally inert compared to the natural rubber. Okay, and you can see in the tan transform that is in the transform, the similar groups are coming on the opposite side, and even the stability is more. Okay. So I hope you understood the video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe.